Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to have you along. I decided to do a little bit of a different style video today and I'm gonna be taking you along for the plant adventures that I went on this weekend. Me and my husband did lots of planty things including plant shopping, plant sales, botanical gardens, and repotting a lot of things. So I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of insight into what we were doing this weekend. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you did this weekend because I'd love to know, especially if it's plant related. I'm always up for new ideas. Thank you again for joining and hope you enjoy. I thought I would do a little bit of a different style video and this time take you along with me on some of my weekend adventures. So one of the first things we did this weekend was to go to the USF Botanical Gardens and we attended their edible fruit sale. They have different plant sales throughout um, the year and this is the first one I got to attend. I purchased this Ylang Ylang plant from the USF Botanical store itself and I'm so excited. I've never actually seen one of these before in person. There was a lot of great vendors that had several things, herbs and fruits and veggies. I picked up this longevity spinach and a lemon mint to add to my edibles collections. After that, we headed over to Lakeland for their Saturday curbside market. I got this adorable little carnivorous plant for my terrarium. So you'll have to stay tuned for that video coming up soon. While we were over there, we stopped at another plant shop that I found on Instagram. It's called Fancy Plants Lakeland, and I got this little pixie plant, and then my husband found a, another philodendron to add to his collection that he did not have before. This one is gorgeous. Adding this to one of my favorites that he has. We stopped in Grace's Hydroponic Garden Shop in Temple Terrace and got some seeds for my spring gardening. And we also headed over to Brandon to my absolute favorite plant shop, Full Grown Girl. And look at this gorgeous, gorgeous bloom. She had several of these plants when we were there over the weekend. That evening when we got home, our tummies were kind of hurting. So I used some dried herbs, some fresh ginger, turmeric, as well as some of my new fresh herb that I got and I made a lovely hot tea that did wonders. Sunday was a full gardening day. The hubs repotted his new fillo and it had some gorgeous, gorgeous roots. Something so relaxing about spending the day repotting plants and all that fun stuff. Look at those gorgeous roots. Then we also took our aloe plant that was gigantic and growing out of the pot, we separated it. Um, look at those roots, my goodness, so many roots. So yeah, we separated it and put it into a few different pots. On my longevity spinach, there was this little piece that had broken off when I had purchased it. So I went ahead and took it completely off and I'm going to try to propagate it in soil. The guy that sold it to me said that they are very easy to propagate. So since this cutting had already fallen off, I decided to try it. I went ahead and cut a little bit of the end off because it had calloused over and I don't know how long it had been. People have mixed reviews about if you should plant something once it's calloused or not. I just wanted to give it a nice clean cut since who knows how long it's been cut. And then I stuck it in some soil and let's see what happens. This is a philodendron hope, I believe, 
and it was outside in soil, but it just wasn't doing well. So I'm gonna put it in water and see if it gets some better roots. I was so excited to start planting some of my new seed babies. I started with the eucalyptus I purchased from Enchanted Plant Company, I believe it's called. I'll put the name of the Etsy shop. I purchased that from them as well as clary sage and wild bergamot, which I will be potting up next. I always have to label my plants because I can never remember once they start sprouting. I decided to put the date on the popsicle sticks this time because sometimes I don't remember when I potted something and then I don't know if it is just not ready to sprout yet or if it's a dud and I need to try again. So I'm very excited to see how those handful do since I've never ordered from an Etsy plant shop before. But this one specifically had some great reviews. Then I started with the seeds I got from Grace's. I had several violas and I have not had those before, eaten them nor grown them. So I am excited to be trying those this year, hoping to add them to some teas and even be able to add them to some salads. Very, very excited about that. I like to start with the soil in the pot and then next after there is a good amount of soil I will put the seeds on and depending on the grow instructions I will either lightly cover them or just press them down into the soil. As you can tell it's very windy so some of the soil is blowing around and my popsicle sticks. But these three pots are a blend of different edible flowers. So there is a range of borage, um, some violas are in that also, and some marigolds. I can't remember what all else is in there, but I'm excited to have a lot of edible flowers this year. Fingers crossed. The last project we did in the garden was repotting the edible hibiscus I had in a pot. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite plants to grow. If you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. The leaves are edible as well as the flowers. They have been blooming for me in the fall and winter time. I just got this plant late summer, I believe it was, so I'm not sure how long they bloom throughout the year but I believe it is more in the cold weather. They're also very easy to propagate. This pot here specifically had the original plant. I had taken a cutting from it put it into another pot and then I took a second cut off of this plant and stuck it in with the mother plant and they have both been growing so much that they outgrew this pot and as you could see the roots were kind of coming out. So I knew I needed to separate them. And once it warms up, I will probably keep taking cuttings off of it to grow more plants. They just taste amazing when you use the flowers in tea. It helps turn it a little bit pink. I'm excited to try them in salads. I haven't had enough this year to use them in salads. But again, highly recommend getting this plant.
So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a different style um, plant video, just kind of walking through my weekend and different things that we did that were plant related. I'd love to hear what you did this past weekend. Hopefully you did some good plant care. For me, plant care is self-care. I don't know if that is the case for you, but I really had a great weekend and enjoyed it. So thank you for stopping by, watching my video, liking, subscribing, everything that you do to connect with me. It means a lot. All right, guys. Bye. See you next time.